Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome visual stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for October 23. Even if you don't pick up any of these, it's still great to look at them to see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination. I can immediately picture all the kinds of games that I could build. This one is a list of paid assets and effects. I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and the best tools and systems. As always, there's links to the asset in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also, by the way, my own game has just come out this month. It's a fun game with some automation, colony building, and defense mechanics, where you can build a colony, automate it, and keep the tiny defenseless dinkies safe from harm. You then colonize other planets, gather more resources, with the ultimate goal of colonizing every planet and automating everything so your dinkies can just relax. It is out now on Steam, I really hope you like it, and please make sure to write a review. Also, the SSR is having a bunch of assets on sale for just 20 bucks. You've got an AI behavior tree, there's a really nice samurai animation pack, a really gorgeous medieval UI kit, there's a pack with a ton of cartoony VFX, over here is a multiplayer drifting game template, there's a climbing parkour system like Assassin's Creed, and tons, tons more stuff. There's over 250 assets on sale, so if there's anything on your wish list, check to see if it's discounted. Alright, so starting off with the latest synthy asset called Dark Fantasy. Right away, I love this one. I must say, my favorite theme of pretty much anything is basically medieval fantasy, so basically Lord of the Rings. And yep, for that, this one is absolutely perfect. It has got their signature excellent style. This is one of those massive packs with over 600 unique prefabs. There's lots of characters, character attachments, there's tons of props, environment, weapons, and even some modular buildings. Naturally, you can expand this even further with some of their similar packs, like for example the also excellent Elven Realms pack. Then, if that's a bit too dark and you want something a bit more jolly, here's a really nice dinosaur pack. It's got some very cute cartoony creatures, and if cute is what you need, then these come in all shapes and sizes, including from fully grown to tiny adorable babies. So right away, looking at this makes me want to make some kind of zoo tycoon game where you can breed and grow dinosaurs. One game I loved as a kid was called Safari Tycoon. I'd love to make something like that with a pack like this one. It includes 64 dinosaurs, all of them with 16 animations, and all sharing just one texture. Next, for some particle effects, here's a really nice one with a bunch of them that are meant for characters. They are made with the VFX wrap, so they look absolutely excellent. All the effects apply perfectly to the mesh, so as the character moves and animates, the effects follow along with it. The fire effect looks absolutely excellent, the smoke effect also looks great, following the movement perfectly. They all have tons of parameters, so you can get them looking exactly as you need them. Then, if you need a super high quality weapon, check out this one. It's secondly just one weapon, but in reality it's all modular, so you can make it look like many different unique weapons. The models are extremely detailed, with some 4K high resolution textures. All the parts are separated, which also makes it animation ready, so you can very easily animate any single part. It also includes a variety of grips, stocks, magnifiers, muzzles and more. If you want, you can look at my own weapon attachment system tutorial to see how you could add something like this to your game. Next, for something a bit more fun, here are some dance moves, and yep, it's exactly what you expect. This could be a great addition if you have some sort of scene in your game that is inside a nightclub and you basically need some background characters to be doing something. Or perhaps this could also be useful if you're making some DDR or Just Dance inspired game. Definitely a unique pack, but if you need some club dance moves, then yep, there it is. Then, if you'd like to make some kind of factory game, here is a nice pack to help you get started. It contains a whole bunch of machines and belts. It's a pretty cheap pack, so it's a perfect starting point. You've got six unique machines, all of them look really nice, all of them with some great animations. They look really nice and casual, so nothing too serious. And if you like this style, then this dev has a ton more in a similar style. If you need some UI, check out this wooden pixel art pack. It's got lots of icons, backgrounds, frames, buttons and sliders. All of them looking really wooden, exactly as you expect. So I could see this being great for some kind of forest tycoon game. Or perhaps simply something like an old school MMO. Those used to have some UI sort of like this one. Then from something pixel art to something a lot more futuristic, here is a sci-fi heavy station. It's a really, really high quality model. It includes both the exterior and the interior. You've got lots of rooms, displays, beds. You've got a mess hall, a command center, and a bunch more. So basically, if you've been playing Starfield and you want to make something similar to it, then this would be a great fit. Then, for some more cozy interiors, here is a giant mega pack. This one is definitely huge, over 350 interior assets. All of them look really nice and cozy. You've got plenty of sofas, a bunch of desks, cupboards, appliances and more. So this would obviously be perfect for some kind of game inspired by The Sims. 
Now if that's a bit too calm for you, then check out this awesome fighter animation pack. You've got some really great animations. There are some regular realistic ones, like some basic punches, and then you've got some that go really crazy. You could just take this, add some particle effects and some flying enemies, and you can make something really awesome with this one. And again, this dev is also really prolific, so if you feel like this pack, then this dev has tons more. Next, if your game has character customization, then check out this one. Basically, it's a modular character creator. This pack is actually a bundle, which includes several others, so for a total of over 2,000 modular pieces, that's pretty much a near-infinite, endless amount of variation. Being low-poly also means you can easily recolorize them for even more variation. The characters can look either regular or very cyberpunk-like. It includes all the parts, as well as some pre-made icons for all of them, so that alone really saves you a bunch of time. Then, for a single, really high-quality character, check out this demon creature. Certainly looks very demon-like. I could see this being taken straight from the most recent Doom. It's a super high-quality model. Basically, if you have a game with demons, then this would fit perfectly. Next, for some more particles, here's a pack with a ton of satellite explosions. Personally, I always love satellite explosions. They always look so good. This one has 37 prefabs. Everything from some regular explosions, a bunch of air explosions, and even some really intense nukes. So for example, if you'd like to make a stylized Oppenheimer game, then maybe this would be perfect for you. This dev, Gabriel, he has tons more VFX packs, so if you like this style, then check out his full page. Or perhaps you're into something a bit more pirate-like, if so, check out this one. It's a really nice pirate village. Quite a large pack with hundreds of props, dozens of characters, and some really great looking ships. This one looks great in both daytime and nighttime. If you're working on a 2D side-scroller, check out these awesome cityscape backgrounds. It's got lots of layers for a really nice parallax effect. I can see this one being perfect for some kind of beat-em-up game where you have a section where you fight on a car, or really just could be a simple cutscene on a story-heavy 2D game. Or maybe you need something in a steampunk style, if so, check out this one. It's another huge pack with over a thousand objects. Obviously, it's got lots of gears and some very old-looking objects. So this is one of those packs where with all of these parts you can build an entire huge world with just this one pack. Then if you need a spooky dark forest, check out this one. It's very high quality, this is an HDRP scene. It's a pretty massive scene with some outside and some interiors of some catacombs or a spooky church. So I could see this one being great for some kind of game inspired by Elden Ring. Next for a nice stylized character, here is a great Anubis. Great looking cartoony character. So this could be taken straight from the game Smite. It includes the character and over two dozen animations. So this could be either your player or maybe some enemy. Then if you're making something with some high-end visuals themed in ancient Rome, then check out this one. It's a gorgeous looking, very high-end scene. It's a temple slash city with a bunch of fire and construction. Basically it looks like something bad has just happened. Looking at this one, it looks like this one could be taken straight from the gorgeous game Rise of Rome, which personally I really enjoy that game. But if you're more into sci-fi, then check out this pack with a ton of gorgeous battleships. It's got some realistic sci-fi visuals, features 25 spaceships, almost 30 turrets, and a whole bunch of structures for making some nice space environments. I can see this one being great for some kind of realistic space sim, maybe something like Elite Dangerous or Star Citizen. Alright, so those are my top 20 new visual assets on the Unity Asset Store for October 23. There's links in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also, don't forget to check out my own game, which just came out. I really hope you like it, and please make sure to write a review. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.